Early versions of pancakes were thin, like crepes. By the 1780s, American cooks were adding a leavening agent for a fluffier, more filling pancake. That's when pancakes transitioned from side dish to main course for the first meal of the day. Call them hot cakes, griddle cakes, flapjacks, or pancakes. There's nothing like a heaping helping of them splashed with syrup. And with frozen pancakes, whipping some up for breakfast has never been easier. Pancake production starts off with the leavening agent, the baking powder. They combine salt, whey, and various flavorings in a big blender to create a dry ingredient premix. Since these will be buttermilk pancakes, they add powdered buttermilk for flavor. They pump liquid ingredients from storage tanks into a huge blender. These include water and eggs, sweet cream, liquefied sugar, and soybean oil. They add the dry premix and flour until the batter reaches the desired consistency. An employee tests the batter's viscosity by pouring some in a device with a little gate. He opens the gate and measures the flow down a ramp. If it runs too thick or too thin, it won't produce pancakes that are the desired diameter and uniformity. The pancake batter passes the viscosity test. They release the batter from the holding tank and it flows into a depositor system. The depositor has nine nozzles. Each nozzle shoots an exact amount of the pancake batter onto a hot moving griddle. Because of the perfect viscosity, each deposit of batter radiates out to form a neat round shape. Each one the same size as the next, about 10 centimeters in diameter. They run three depositors and moving griddles simultaneously to produce 750 pancakes a minute. That's an incredible 45,000 pancakes an hour. After several seconds on the griddle, one side is cooked. So automated stainless steel spatulas flip the pancakes over. There are two sets of flippers. After flipping, the first set repositions and the second set flips the next row of pancakes. It's mechanized synchronization. The flippers are spaced apart exactly as the depositors are. So the pancakes arrive at the flippers in the correct order to be picked up and turned over. Once flipped, the pancakes continue along the cooking conveyor and the other side is cooked. It's a short ride for these pancakes to be completely cooked. From dollops of batter to uniformly rounded and cooked pancakes, this process has taken just 90 seconds. The pancakes somersault off the cooking griddle and over a roller to land on the next conveyor. This somersault exit has a purpose. It keeps the pancakes from folding over so they land flat. Hot off the griddles, the pancakes cool down on the ride as all three production lines merge and head into a freezer. Inside the freezer, it's a very frigid minus 28 Celsius and the pancakes freeze fast. Now it's over to the packaging line. This is where the uniformity of these pancakes pays off. Their similar diameter means they can be neatly packed in groups of six. Machinery seals two stacks of six frozen pancakes in one wrapping. It has taken less than five minutes to prepare, freeze and package these pancakes. At home, prep time in the microwave should be mere seconds. Just add syrup and this story has a sweet ending.